All right, guys, we've got something fun for you today that you're absolutely going to love, and it's going to be helpful because we are going to learn how to repair cracks in vinyl. So we ordered a part off of Amazon. Everything's always listed in the description below, and we're going to try our hand at fixing something rather than replacing it. It's not going to work out well, is it? Hey guys, John Engel here, and I've got some great news. Today we're going to fix that by installing a brand new double dim. So today we're going to do a oil change and replace those. All right, so let's get started. The first thing, this is the 3M Leather and Vinyl Repair Kit. It's about eight or nine dollars, so if you're looking to do something more extensive, you might wanna go up and buy something a little bit uh, bigger, but this should do what we need. So the first thing is, let's assess the area. All right, so right here on the dash, you can see that it's definitely cracked. It's pulling away too, but we need to fix the crack before we can actually push this piece back down. So the first thing that we're gonna do is clean this with alcohol. Prep work is always the most tedious and no one ever appreciates it, but it does make for a better product. So we are cleaning it with just 91% alcohol and you can see that it's pulling dirt off of that dash, which would create it not to seal as well. All right, so in this kit, it comes with quite a few different things. The Mountain Dew is not included. However, we have uh, the vinyl adhesive, which is gonna fill in everything. We have different types of textures so that we chose the one that's closest to ours, which is this white one. So that's the one we're gonna use to make the texture. They give you colors, and because this is a 2001, she's almost 20 years old, the color is not pure black. It's more of like an elephant or a dark gray. So we are gonna have to match that color. That's what we use these for. All of these will mix together until we get that right color. This tool is what actually seals it in. So we will use this heated up to about 300 degrees and then we can press that onto the backing paper onto the vinyl which will then create that texture and pattern and hopefully that dash will look beautiful. That's all theory. We've never done this before. All right, so now we are actually applying some of the vinyl adhesive, which kind of puts everything back together. We'll hold it in place so that hopefully it will stop the cracking. The main thing that we're looking for here is full adhesion so that we won't have any more cracking. So he's actually dabbing it into those cracks and then smoothing it out so that when it dries, we can then sand it flat, use the color, and then put the uh, texture back into it. So right now, it's going to look worse before it looks better. I mean, that's the plan. Now, according to the instructions, we're supposed to wait four hours for this to cure. While we have the spot that we're repairing drying, we're gonna go ahead and start doing some color match. So, Cully came up with a good idea. Open the glove box, clean it out, because it's the same color, and we can actually use that as kind of like our test bed to make sure that the color is going to match perfectly. So we'll just use somewhere over here, over here, and be able to color match it, which should work out pretty good. You know, as much as I pick on the F-body, it really does make a nice work area on that wing. It does. I mean, it's it's pretty much it like it's the Bob Ross of art cars. There it is. Yep. That's yeah. nice. You ever need to work on your vehicle and you need a nice sturdy platform. That's true. Already installed. Plus, Pretty I mean, charge. you could have lunch there too. You could as well. Yeah. I really can't talk too much smack. I've got a Cobra R wing and an NSX wing over here that's made for lunches as well. So this is like Elmer's glue. It turns clear when it's... I don't know if it turns. Well, that top section is looking clear. It does look a little more clear. You are correct, so maybe it does once it's cured. Uh-uh. <laughs> what do you mean, uh-uh? Uh-oh. Is uh, it? That's... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, uh, looks to be a little cured. Uh, yeah. 
see what we can do about that. <laughs> It's a little extra. Look, it's drying right before our eyes. So, Alright guys, it's time for crafts. Arts and crafts time. We're gonna try to make an elephant color. I'm gonna say it's four parts black, one part white. <sighs> so, I'm just gonna put straight black on the test sheet. Just to see the difference. Yeah. That's awful dark. That is awful mm. dark. So this is not like a normal paint. Is it more like a plasty? Yeah, it's definitely more like a like liquid vinyl. Okay. For, for yeah. So we could have just used Flex Seal. Yes. Hmm. How much white is in there? None yet. So this is still just the black? This is just, I see what I'm saying? Like as you <laughs> manipulate it, it almost looks like a totally different color. It, it became more gray. Yeah. Huh. I think a little more black, maybe some brown. I think next time when you put it, well, otherwise I want it closer to the edge. Oh, yeah. you, know, you see what I mean? I keep seeing that lighter color in there and then. That's very close. See? It's still a little. Yeah, that is definitely light. I may just have to mix white into black. Alright, guys, seeing that uh, finger painting with Coley is going so well, you can see our little Bob Ross uh, swatch right here with a thousand different colors and we're still not quite there. We tried mixing the black and the gray together, trying to make it that way. Now we're mixing black and white and we're gonna see how that works out. This is probably the most tedious part of the process is actually dialing in that color. It's the face of an artist. We do a test swatch with straight black. You sure that's black and that's not the black? Br that is brown. That looks terrible. Make it more gray. Can we go to Lowe's and just get a color match? <laughs> just spray paint. The trials and tribulations. Looks a little closer there. Yep, yeah, that's the problem. I think that lid is black. I think the lid is black. This is pretty close up here, but you might want to wipe it off now. All right, so at this point, we're just waiting for it to completely dry. You can see that it changes just like Elmer's glue from white to clear as it dries. And once it's dry, it'll be completely clear. Now, Coley actually came up with a pretty good idea of how to sand this. We've got these little sandpapers and he's gonna use a pen to create the pressure point so that basically we're not damaging more than we need to, which I thought was a pretty good idea. I mean, if it was up to me, I was going to take a Dremel and just, you know, cut off a quarter of it. And you just want it smooth, right? Yeah, just uh, <laughs> as smooth as you can get, I don't know. Yeah, you can get it pretty smooth. I mean, I can get it. I can. I could make it much smoother, but right now we're Damn, only. We're that only, looks crazy good. Yeah. No. I mean, it's. If you feel it, it's really just where the pieces are. Um, are up there now, but that looks so much better. Wow! Holy shit! Yeah, and it's really the only spots that it sticks and stays, kind of in the crack. Yeah, that's. But I could get this off a little bit more if you want. I don't know. Is it? I mean, it's holding. Can you shape there. it to where it's? It 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 doesn't really shape. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, well, I just meant like kind of flat on one side and flat on the other, so it still makes a corner to say. I don't know what you mean. Like on this this section. Yeah. Just to kind of flatten that piece out. Even it. Yeah. Just yeah. so there's not like when I go to put that color, bump. it doesn't like look cool like a. In that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
So a little, little sanding with the Dremel and then a little hand sanding and that has made that flatten out. The actual glue that's used on this is some sort of rubber type of epoxy so it does flex and give which is really great. Um, the thing is that it kind of peels off of the surfaces that it's not bonded to, which is really nice too. It kind of cleans that whole surface up. Hopefully now when we go to put the paint on it, it's going to resemble the dash very well. So right now Coley is actually putting the heat transfer device against an iron to heat it up and then he's got the transfer paper which will go onto the wet paint. It'll heat it up, it stays there until it cools and then we remove it. Roughly you're trying to get this little heat tool to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And it does say in the instructions to roll it as he is doing. Now because he has not put a huge amount of the paint on there, I'm thinking that it's probably not going to stick. It's just going to heat it up, kind of make it so that it's set, and then it should be fine. So after watching this and everything, I think that somehow it needs to be like in a, um, like an airbrush. Almost to where you could blend it in if you were going to do it. Well, what I was going to do is after this dries, I'm going to sand it. Well, that's not going to look good. Well, the edges? Kind You're going to get, I think it's going to, maybe. I, I don't know. I think that it's going to make it lighter, almost like when you start sanding. I don't know. I say put a, a um, liberal amount on there and let's try this again there we go is it is it sticking is it, oh i like it when you get all excited you're like that's the that's, that's the ticket it. that's what we need to go all right here's some more heat for you careful here it seems Yeah. Yeah, look some. Yeah, I just want to take a look. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If I saw that, I would not know it was cracked. I would just think somebody put something on it. Something on it. I know everybody's wondering what this actually looks like. I'm going to take you inside so you can see. And you're going to love this. So you might be asking yourself, what does a $10 <laughs> vinyl repair kit do for you? Well, that's a... Well, so that's kind of what we're dealing with. And that crack came back, didn't it? Yeah, well, I was just peeling this and, uh, it's, and it's peeled the... All the paint. Well, the, the the mixer too, like the the crack filler. Uh, the heat, I guess, reactivated it. So, what do you think so far? Oh, and great! Now, piece came with it. Nice. <laughs> I think I got what I paid for. <laughs> That's what I think. How about you? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not loving this at all.
I'd really like to know what somebody would charge that does kind of vinyl repair and stuff. If you didn't want to do a whole new dash, how much would somebody charge to do that, I wonder? Not sure. I mean, they can't do it worse than us, that's for no, sure. No, definitely not. I don't even know anybody who does vinyl repair. Like I don't either. Dashes. I know they do seats and stuff. I, I got to take the car over to Redmond's anyway. Yeah, I could ask the them. I'm going to see if they'll do it. Yeah. Well, well, that was a... Um, it's still going to be a video because, well, <laughs> people need to see. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So what did we learn today? That the 3M kit is probably not what I would suggest. I think you do get what you pay for. So this was like an $8 kit, and it just didn't give enough to make it work out right. I'm not saying that you couldn't make this work out right. I'm not a professional. Coley and I tried our best to follow the directions, make sure that it worked, and it did not. I think that if we would have just stayed with correcting the cracks, not trying to use their vinyl coating to match, and then maybe some aerosol that was that color, I think it would have looked better. I think that really you need some sort of air gun or airbrush to make that feathered in so that it looks right. All the ones that I see on the internet that do it correctly use something like that. Anyway, not everything always works out how we want it to, so that was a good way of us showing that. Anyway, if you know how to do this correctly, leave me some comments below. Like, subscribe, share. We'll catch you next time. That was terrible. Just terrible.